Acuculture's. I'm Pam Heller, Acuculture's cutting expert. And I'm Erica Botker, Acuculture's creativity expert. Welcome to today's show called Deer to Stay. Today we're super excited to be relaunching the Go Deer Head Die. That's right. We have so much fun planned so for much. today's show. And a little later, we're going to be joined by experts Jeannie Miller and Shannon Patterson will be offering their seasonal and themed projects for using this die. And it's going to be great to have them on the show to hear yeah. all about their inspiration. They are just amazing. It certainly will be. Okay, let's get today's show started. Let's do. As always, we have lots in store. We have great prizes, exciting project ideas, a really inspirational trunk yes. show, and of course, special offers. That's right. Well, let's not wait any longer. Here's a look at our new Go Now Permanent Go Deer Head die. The Go Deer Head Die will bring a sense of coziness to any home, cabin, or outdoor space. This magnificent applique die is a great way to use up scraps and is even fat quarter friendly. You can cut up to four layers of pre-fused fabric, depending on the fabric used, in just one pass through any Go Cutter to produce a perfect shape every time. From vibrant hues to warm wool, you can use any color, pattern, and a variety of fabrics to craft a unique look. This die allows you to create a themed kitchen with oven mitts and hot pads, or deck out your barbecue master with a grilling apron and towel. You will leap at the chance to make pillows, wall hangings, and so much more. This die pairs well with the Go Square 8-inch finished and the eight inch cube, but it's also great with the Go Santa stocking for a festive holiday or the Go Northwoods medley for a cozy cabin decor everyone will be fond of. In addition to this amazing shape, you'll receive a gorgeous pattern and downloadable embroidery designs, a $22 value at no extra cost to you. The project ideas used in this die are endless because at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Having this applique die added to our permanent collection is so wonderful, and I'm glad you and I have been able to spend some more time working with it. That's right. Now, more quilters can use it, especially while they take advantage of the special bundles that we have. That's so true. All right, quilters, if you missed out during its die to try launch, we have special bundles available for the Go Deer Head die. To get your order in during the show, open a new tab in your browser. Type in accuquilt.com slash party to see the bundles and place your order. That way, you're not going to miss any of the show. All right, the first bundle we have is the Go Deer Head die with a mat. It features our Go Deer Head die, a 6x12 cutting mat, and the Go Deer Head embroidery designs. We also have the Go Deer Head Medley Bundle, which includes the Go Deer Head die, the Northwoods Medley I die. Love that die. Yes. The Go Square 8 inch finished, the 10 by 10 cutting mat, a 6 by 12 cutting mat, the Go Deer Head embroidery designs, and the Go Northwoods Medley embroidery designs. I think it's just fabulous. And next we have the Go, oh dear, Project Die Bundle, which comes with the Go Deer Head die. The Go Oven Mitt Die, the Santa Stocking Die. Love it. 6x12 and a 10x24 cutting mat, and the Go Deer Head Embroidery Designs. Now, for today only, you're also going to earn double reward points on any order. No code needed. No, and you can use them for future purchases. That's right. Also, the Go Me Fabric Cutter Starter Set is on sale right now. Yes, the starter set is perfect to bring on the go with you uh -huh. and work with over 160 of our go dies, including, as luck would have it, the go deer head die. There you go. And five of our seven cubes will fit through That's that right. go me as well. All right, quilters, you can also find many of our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer. To find the retailer closest to you, check out the store locator at the top of the page at AccuQuilt.com. And if you don't have an AccuQuilt retailer near you, make sure to let your local quilt shop know that you would love to shop for Go products there. There you go. All right, Erica, let's jump in and take a look yes. at this die. Okay, so first of all, here it is. It is on a six by 12 uh, die board, so it will fit through all of our Go cutters, including that Go Me. I love it. Right? And can you imagine trying to cut out this shape by hand? 
No, I wouldn't do it. No, I would not. I would just I not. It, I would think, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I want to do that project, but yeah, maybe not. Yep. So it's designed for fusible applique. So you would press the fusible <coughs> to the bless you, black, back you. of your fabric and cut it. You can fuse it onto things like cardstock and paper bags and oh, gift cards. So many project so ideas. So many project ideas. And w when we had it at its launch, we gave you some really great ideas, but we're going to show you some as yes. well. But if you missed that first launch and you want to go back and catch up with those, you can find it on YouTube and Facebook and you can. our website. You can. All right, but other fabrics that we cut, um, we're going to talk a little bit about craft foam, but wool, felt, vinyl, faux, All kinds leather. of, and you're going to hear the experts talk about different fabrics right. too. Now you have some here as well. I do. So I brought some wool in because we're asked all the time about cutting wool mm -hmm. on our dyes. So we're going to cut that. And of course, if you've worked with wool and, and hand sewing, you know that it's kind of pricey. So you save all your little scraps. So yes, you do. And today we're gonna to use our Go Big, but again, it's gonna fit through any of our cutters. That's right. Now, Erica, I know that uh, when we cut with wool, you and I have a tendency to just cut one layer at a time. You know, it depends on how thick your wool is. This is a nice, really thick wool, and so I would only cut one layer, yeah. absolutely. Give it some now, love. Now, if I had fused it, that would have been okay. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. That is just, Look how it is pretty. never going to cut that easy with scissors. Look how clean those edges mm -hmm. are. And mm -hmm. you've got the reverse. So you might want to do something with the reverse. Too. Right. Right. You could totally make a project. You could cut this into squares and then you know, cut with your out. pillows mm -hmm. and have your pillows have the reverse. Yeah. But look how know. clean that is. I love it. It's fabulous. All right. So think about different ways to use the shape too. I bet our experts have come up with some pretty clever ideas, but we can't let them have all the fun. So let's look at how easy it is to turn a buck into a dough. All right, so you've cut some so out of I felt. So I did, I did. So I cut one out of felt. So here he is, just some nice, nice big antlers. And then all you need to do, and maybe we can see if we- Oh, there you go. Top. But you're just gonna cut Follow the edge of the ear down. Follow the curve for the head. And there you then go. Follow the curve of the ear back up. It's yes. really simple to do. I feel like this is Buck and this is Betty. Buck and Betty. There I we don't go. know. <laughs> we got Buck and Betty. There you go. But that's how you can trim the antlers off. That's right. So again, it's like getting two dies in one. Yeah. Now I was thinking about cutting some flannel. So do you have flannel? I do have flannel. Okay. I had because a scrap that was just flannel. the right size. I love flannel. It's such a, you know, fall thing, mm -hmm. right? And we did fuse this. I iron fusible onto the back of it, so it's ready to go. And what's the magic of if you've used fusible? It's going to count as half a layer. Yes. So, and flannel I usually count as a, a little bit thicker. It depends on your flannel. Well, and I'm going to tell you also, um, you don't have to worry about lengthwise grain. Right. 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 Yeah, if you're cutting something that's fused, um, usually with applique shapes, you really don't have to worry about it. Of course, if you're cutting the felt or craft foam, there isn't a grain, so don't worry right. about that. Look at this little guy. Oh, there he is. Perfect. Pull him out just really carefully. Yeah, it's, it's not a Band-Aid. You want to be careful yeah, with it. So yeah. it's so slick. And talking about flannel made me, and I had some, I had some here, others oh, that kind of inspired me. I'm going to pull this off here. home. Some, you know, a smaller plaid maybe, or this oh. one's even got snowflakes, which it all got me thinking about making matching pajamas <gasps> for your family Jammies. for Christmas and putting reindeer on them. How cute would that be? That would be super fun. So, you know, Matching chamois, it's just great. And if you want to make, you know, if you want to make this into a, a reindeer or a Rudolph, here. just add a pom-pom. <gasps> See, look at that. Yeah. All right, here's someone we cut out. Yep, absolutely. So Perfect. it's it's really fun. It's really fun. You could lay that, you know, on top of some red and snowflake. Look at how soft that pajamas. is. Chamois, there you go. That'd be cute. Wouldn't that be cute? Okay. All There's right. So many things. So many things. All right. So how about 
we're talking about decorating pajamas. How about a decorating matching sweatshirts? Oh, we should totally do that, you we and I. We should have them. We should have them for our, our, our family here at work. We you should. can make them for your family at home. Make them ahead of time. Have them there at Thanksgiving dinner. Everybody can put them on after dinner or before dinner, maybe. And yeah. take matching <laughs> pictures for your, your holiday card. Oh, that's a great yeah. idea. I love it. And don't forget, we have the Go Classic 2-inch alphabet plus the new Go Classic 2-inch numbers and symbols dies so you can personalize those sweatshirts. Oh, so like maybe you could put some fun hashtags on you it. You could. Like uh, hashtag Rudolph Rules. Oh, there you go. Or or hashtag Reindeer Games. Right. Or hashtag Heller Clan or Heller Herd. Heller Herd. That works. Oh, oh I, I like hear that. I see cool two wheels turning. Right there in my head. All right, we're just getting started with inspiration using this die, but after showing it off, Erica, should we give one away? Oh, we should. All right. Our giveaways are one way we like to say thank you to you for registering for our shows and being a part of our AccuQuilt family. All right, today's lucky winner of a Go Deerhead die is drum roll, please. Karen A. of Hastings, New York, congratulations. congratulations. Karen, you're gonna love this die. I think it's so fun. It is fun. All right. For today's show, we asked two of our experts to come up with seasonal and or themed inspiration using our Go Deerhead die. First off, we have Jeannie Miller. Now, Jeannie has used and sold AccuQuilt products at quilt oh, shows and retreats. all of Jeannie's Oh my things. gosh. Since 2008, as soon as she was old enough to operate a sewing machine solo, she began her lifelong hobbies of sewing, embroidering, and quilting. Jeannie's an active member of several quilt guilds and is also the chapter chair of the Treasure Coast chapter of the Florida Sewing Sew Society. Hey, Jeannie. Hi, Gino. Look at her antlers. She has antlers. Next one, we have Shannon Patterson. Shannon has been quilting for over 25 years and brings her manufacturing experience into quilting to search for the most efficient shortcut techniques to help streamline the process. She helps others build skills, master techniques, inspire creativity, and have fun. Shanna enjoys listening to all these things. Machine piecing, long arm quilting, machine embroidery, English paper piecing, foundation paper piecing, and applique. She does it all. She does. She's and she a does Rena. it all really well. So really well. All right. Hi, Shannon. All right, well, let's check in and see what ideas our first expert has come up with using our now permanent Go Deer Head die. Jeannie, what do you have so far? Hey ladies, this die had me feeling extra festive and I came up with all sorts of ideas of how I could use it for different holidays throughout the year. I'd like to share some of those ideas with you now. So the very first thing I did was make a test cut with the die just to see how it went. And of course, it cut out a beautiful deer head for me and I had applied my fusible to the back and I was ready to go with that test. Well, then I decided, hey, let's see if I can cut some other things. So one of the things that I tried was some leather, and you could also use cork to cut this shape for your die. But one of the really exciting things that I did was I used some balsa wood. So this is a very thin wood, and I put some fusible on the back of it, and I ran that through the die, and guess what? It made a beautiful cut. So I took that balsa wood piece and I cut out a deer head and I cut out some extra antlers and I found more and I purchased it and it's wood and then it has a frame and then I was able to glue that balsa wood right onto that and I think that that makes a wonderful home deck that you could use for all sorts of holidays by putting a little bow on it for Christmas or having some eggs or something on it and you could change it up for all different holidays to use. Next I moved on to Valentine's Day and here we can see the card I made with Mr. and Mrs. Deer on it. What a nice gift for your Valentine's honey. Next I used that deer head to adorn this wonderful tea towel for St. Patrick's Day. So my deer is cut out of St. Patrick's Day fabrics and I've embroidered that along with a couple shamrocks on this towel. And then this one down below here 
is for Easter. So we have an expert hunter to put on this particular tea towel and a cute little way to hang it on your stove so that it stays in place. Next, I have a little decoration that you could use for any time of the year. And I bought this in the clearance section at one of the uh, home craft stores. And I just put hey y'all on it. And I used some of the boots from the Western medley die to do the two L's on that. And of course, the uh, deer head is for the Y. Well, in that same clearance section, I found this great sign over here. And I decided to do welcome and I used my deer head right there. And what was really nice about this particular sign was even though I got it in clearance, it has two sides. So I also did believe for the other side and it's adorned with Christmas fabrics. And I even found some Christmas lights that I could put on to that uh, deer head that made it look really cute. And here's the last thing that I came up with. I also found this clock in the clearance section because you know, those things are so expensive. But I got the clock and I have my little deer head on it. And it says, my family tree has a deer in it. And this can hang around the house any time of the year or any season. And then of course, I had to make an oh dear shirt to wear for the show today. And I hope you like all the ideas that I've come up with for the different seasons of the year. And I've got a really special thing for my challenge, which is one of my favorite seasons of the year, and that's Christmas. And I can't wait to share it with you next. Okay. So many ideas. Just one right after another, after another, and after another. And I she always has a shirt. Always has a and shirt. She always has something on her head. Yeah. I, I thought that was a great idea to go to a craft store. You can find them, you know, of yes. the two sided and you could make it for different seasons. Well, and I love the little garland of the like the little lights that she had across She's the antlers. So, great. so clever. All right, well, a little later on, we're going to ask you to vote on your favorite experts project. So make sure you don't miss the big reveal. All right, Jeannie has really got us thinking about how to work our deer head dye into seasons other than winter and fall. That's right. And as you might guess, our quilting heads have been working over time. So let's talk about some of the ideas that we've cooked up. Okay. Now, obviously, here's the, the deer emoji has dye. to wear the sunglasses. Yep, so right? here's our sunnies from our so emoji dye. Yep. So there we go. And I think that deserves the hashtag cool you, right? There you go. Okay. There you go. And you could add snowflakes. So the go mitten die, I think we've got it I over have there. So many dies. We have here. so many dies. But we got all these ideas. Yeah. So there's this tiny snowflake over here. You could have some of those fused on the background yes. around the reindeer. Or if you yes. were putting it on a shirt, I mean, I think that would be an that would adorable be really cute. sweatshirt. That would be really cute. All right, so the deer head, how about heart eyes? We're always talking about heart eyes, All the right? heart eyes. And there's great heart eyes available on the Go Cookie decoration. Right here. Side. How so cute you is could that? say, dough, you love me. Well, we could that. put them on our dough. We could put them on our little dough, there too. There you go. And you could make a couple of shower banner with heart eyes and hearts. You could make oh, that invitations, would be cute. decorate, make a pre-made table runner. Our tablecloth, that would be fun. Okay, you have, you have, um, or we could make wedding bride and groom deer. And this is from the bow dye, and this is from the, this um, is from how, these are both from Holiday Medley. Yes. But look at the deer with her veil. And it's just a little piece of wired ribbon, and I just gathered it up, and she gives her a little veil. Yes. I think it's so fun. <laughs> okay, and then so, this, we also, okay. There Halloween always has to be Halloween, right? Because it's Pam. It's so close to that So time. here's our ghost spider web block. And here is the deer head. Yes. So how about if we put a witch hat on it yes. from the Halloween medley die? Yes. And then maybe we need to go back and embroider some... Spider, spider web. webs hanging and dripping off of the antlers. That would be kind of fun. That'd be really fun. <laughs> All 
All right, now how about nursery wall decor? So Brooks has kind of an outdoorsy mountain theme. Oh yes, he does. And so I thought we should make, a, I, I need a little door hanging for him that says someone dear lives uh, here. Oh, that's super cute. Yeah, that would be really fun to do. And don't, don't lose out on the chance to embellish things. So we had our little pom-pom. Right. Rudolph, but you could also use a fun red button. Right. Um, you could use, if it's not Rudolph, maybe you want a little black nose. If it's all the on other it. reindeers. If it's all the other reindeer. Little buttons for eyes. They're in there. Look at how cute that is. Look, little eyes would be really cute. Um, or other buttons, you know. Oh, you know what, Erica, why don't we stand here? Because this here. is a question we get. How big is our reindeer? Oh, you know? that's a great question. Let's measure him. Hold, please. Six by seven. Okay, there you go. There you go. So if you're trying to think of like projects to do so you could use it with our eight inch square, right. which is part of that bundle. Now we recently had our team together for corporate meetings oh and goodness. training. And as part of the event, Pam and I had the whole Tech Brands team in here in the studio with us. We had them all cut out and decorate deer head shapes from Craft Foam. Now they had so much fun with this project that we wanted to share some of them with you. And that's all of our, yeah, we have our a table bunch of decor. Here. I'm gonna so move these what I did over. was um, I had different colors of craft foam and then I cut out pre-cut like things from the holiday medley and the cookie decorations right. and out of um, sticky back craft foam so that none of our team had to have a hot glue gun. Or scissors. Or scissors. And we cut, we cut, we also cut um, some was flant, felt, yes. too, sticky back felt. So this is, Kathy made this one. Look at how cute that and is. And she used, a, I don't know, a pen a or marker. a marker. Yes. And we asked everybody to put their names in the back. Some were Some did not. Now this is and Joe. Jeff. This is producer director Joe. Oh now Joe <laughs> clearly found where the scissors were because he yes. cut some of the, and I think what he did was cut up a gnome hat. Oh, I bet that's exactly right. Yep. He Good says job. that's what he did. He, Good job, so Erica. he took his scissors and he cut his gnome hat. Joe wasn't here on that Friday. He got to do his another time. So yes. he had, had, had. And oh, this, this is, is more. This is Miss Morgan's. She does our social media. Look at how cute this is. And it was fun. I did flowers and hearts and circles and all of the things. And this one is Ashley's. Look at how fun this was. And we did give them markers to say, hey, if we you did, we to did give them markers. So this would be a really fun project to do like at Thanksgiving. Yes. Have all the kids and grandkids yes. cut up deer heads and, and cut out um, um, embellishments and have them make it. And then you can make a cool like little garland, a little reindeer oh, yes. garland, right? Burlap would be great backing mm -hmm. for that something or felt something right. um, really fun. Would right. Yeah, and I do like the idea of craft foam because then you don't have to fuse it. Oh, yeah. You know, we just use sticky back felt. We just use sticky but back Erica okay. said we have to have... Every time we do something with the flamingo, yes, we, right I mean, we have a die. We have to do something with the flamingo. So I did put antlers. I mean, we've put the sunnies on the, the flamingo That one's before, hilarious, by the way. But this time we thought the deer flamingo head. needed the deer head antlers yeah. on it. I tried. We have a... Um, Easter, like a spring medley, and it yeah. has a, a bunny on it. Yeah, and I tried jackalope. to make a jackalope, but it's the wrong kind of oh, bunny. Bummer. <laughs> That's all right. Now, how about a game? Yes. Got kids that need to play a game. How yes. about pin the nose on the reindeer? Oh, that's a good one. Or you could cover pillows with plaids and reindeers. Yes. So we had, here's our felts again. You know, talk. think about using some felt to oh, put here. those. Here, we have, a, we have a deer. Put a deer on. Oh, that would show up really well that on that. That's really bowl. pretty, actually. Yeah. So make a square. Look at us trying to do our fabric yeah. there. That is really pretty. Look at that. That is really pretty. I like this one the better. I, I like the too. plaid. I do too. It's very soft. It's very classic. All right. So many ideas. Whew. I'm exhausted. But stay with us because there are more ideas coming up. 
In fact, if you want more inspiration like what you see on our shows, there are new blog posts every week with innovative ways to use the dyes you already own and maybe inspire you to get some others. So today's post was written by go-getter Denise Looney. It's all about how she used the Go Deer Head dye for a lovely customized project. So be sure darling, to check it out. Darling. Discover everything we mentioned and more when you subscribe to the AccuQuilt blog. All right. Quilters are, oh, listen. I'll wait till you see this fabric. Sometimes it is harder than others for us to give away fabric. Our good friends at Bygo are helping make this relaunch party even more delightful. We have two selections of fabric. Okay, Erica, I need this fabric. Look, it has little buses She's on it. It's gone from want to need and quilters. Explore, How often does that happen? And look at this. This is so cute. It's darling. It has like little forests. I love and the color And then this palette. is my favorite because it has toilet paper on a roll. It it's has like s'mores. camping. S'mores, eggs. All the s'mores. All the s'mores. Okay, so this is one bundle, and then Erica. And then you here's show yours? the other bundle. So for everybody so who's starting to harvest their garden, which I Erica brought, brought me tomatoes. Today. I did. I brought you tomatoes. So here's here's all the garden goods here, and like some this. coordinating prints. Veggies. Now, veggies. canning jars um, projects are really popular. Canning jar projects oh, are, and here's here's a look at fabric that, that has canning jars on it. I wish we had a canning jar. I know. I know. Okay, but we can you know cut those somebody? up. Yeah, we'll send in a request. <laughs> but I love this one. Like yeah. these little bubble ones. And look at the dots. So this is really fun. I think this is a Onions. really fun bundle. Figo did a good job. Okay. Well, I suppose we should give it away. So the first winner of a Figo fabric selection is, drum roll please, Diane C. from Leslie, Arkansas. Congratulations, Congratulations. Diane. And the winner of a second selection of fabric dr is, drum roll please, Bobby Sue W. from Pahrump, Nevada. Congratulations. Okay, welcome, Mrs. And we're just going to send them randomly so you yeah, get what you get. know which one you're Both get. of them are so beautiful. They are so beautiful. Huge shout out, right, to Fido right. for sponsoring our show. Absolutely. We know the quilters are going to love using that in their quilts. And right. we want to see what you create with the fabric selection. That's right. I think That's it's going to be right. great. Hey, don't forget to f uh, share your finished projects with us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And I'm going to tell you how to do that because somebody messaged me the other day. Oh, and yeah? Said, how do I do that? If you use the at symbol and <laughs> do the at symbol and type AccuQuilt, it will tag us. Yes. There we go. That's there you go. Do. Your tech you're lesson there, for the day. Yes. While you're there, follow us to see our behind the scenes videos and antics. Today's was especially antical. Yes, and it wasn't even Pam and I getting it. It wasn't. Trouble. It was the boys were well, you know, We always have a lot of fun. And we do like to share your AccuQuilt communities, stories, and quilts with us as well on social media. So be sure to follow us. Hey, don't forget we have Go Deer Head Dye Bundles available to help you get started on your seasonal and themed projects. Be sure to place your orders while the dye is in stock and ready to ship. Now for today only, you're going to earn double reward points with any order, no code needed. How fun is that? And they can use those reward points for future That's right. Quote purchases, right? All right, and the Go Me Fabric Cutter Starter Set is on sale. This is the perfect size fabric cutter for little ones. They can cut it safely and it's easy to use. It comes with two dies, a mat, and a pattern book. You can make over 180 patterns. Yeah, you know with what? those two shapes. This die and the Go Me and, and a couple of others, just like we did here, this is what you need to have for all the little ones on Thanksgiving. Well, right, all those school holidays. Mm -hmm. Oh, smokes. Yes. Okay, it's time to check in with our second expert. Shannon, what ideas do you have for us? Well, ladies, this die had me thinking outside the box and into the wild, and it reminded me of my childhood when our relatives would come up and spend a week of deer season with us. We had a lot of good times when we were younger, playing cards and eating yummy food and just telling stories year after year. So I wanted to celebrate that by putting together some placards that you'll see here. What I did was use the pennant die and I created, you know, there's only three pennants, but by flipping the, the tree or the upside down triangle, I was able to get four there. And then as we saw with the initial release of the deer head, there were actually ways to cut the antlers and turn the buck into a doe. So I've alternated here. I really like the way that played out. One of the things that that had me do was pull all my plaids out of my, my stash 
love the plaids. So I started thinking about plaids and how I could incorporate them. And I realized that it could go beyond the cotton woven. Let's go into the synthetic fibers. So here I have leather that I got that I ironed the fusible to the back. And then I have this leather here. So I put together deer in different textures and colors by using those, just cut out one layer at a time. I also looked into the contact paper. So very popular right now with people using contact paper to cover up walls. But I use that as you can see here and cut out the deer head to use as the O in home. Now you can find these letters in any craft store and build your own. It could say welcome or home or your last name. Just think of how you can use other shapes to create the letters. Then um, we also saw in the initial release where they, um, Victoria had put together some scraps. I, I actually pieced here some, some plaids, very cute. And then because it's deer season and someone's always looking for the trophy, I cut around and took the antlers to create this deer mount. Additionally, you can take the pennant and apply the deer to it and create patches and apply those either to ready-made canvas totes or make your own. So as you can see here, I put together several examples using different materials, uh, the plaids, the um, man-made leathers and vinyls, and then the contact paper. Just remember, check your cutter, only do one at a time. And I, I'm gonna see where this takes me, but I really think plaid is kind of caught with me. Let's see what happens there. So stay tuned. Well, if your head is spinning with ideas after seeing all of Shannon's projects, hang on tight because we're gonna talk about accentuating those projects with embroidery. That's right. Of course, you can finish all the shapes off any way you like, including using a decorative stitch from your domestic machine. Sewing just inside the raw edge with a straight stitch yep. or even by hand. But what's my favorite method? Pam's favorite method is to fuse it down and just quilt over the top. It is. So if you do have a machine embroidery, however, we have free downloadable embroidery designs to finish the edges off. You can see the graphic right here. You've got a choice of three stitches with that, a blanket stitch, a satin stitch, or a motif stitch. That's right, look at that. That's right, but we also have some really fun paid downloads by our good friends at V-Stitch Design that can bring even more detail and whimsy to your projects. So here's some of the paid ones. Notice they have little eyes and the deer right, right. antlers are a little exciting. But oh, wait till you see this one. Wait till you see this one. Look. This is the newest one for the holiday season. This is so cute. The scarf. The scarf. The and the jingle, jingle bells. bells. I just think it's fabulous. Oh my gosh. And the expression on the eyes, I love it. Mm -hmm. It's darling. And this is a reindeer who's ready to rock. It is, it's fabulous. All right, so think about all the gifts that you can use making these embroidery designs and the different ways that you could use them. That's right, so there are aprons and tea towels like Jeannie made, but think right. about oven mitts to match, right? Because there's a die for that, There right? is indeed, and if you're thinking about the holidays, how about the Santa stocking? It's in our bundle this today. This is so fun. Then add the names on the cuffs. Stockings are also adorable to use, like gift bags. So you could put a bag of cookies inside or a bottle of wine, and just then you don't have to wrap anything. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Remember, we have you covered when it comes to applique uh, supplies. We have a variety oh, of fusibles. Yes. We have stabilizer and irons, and of course, wool pressing mats. That is right. Quilters, at the start of the year, we introduced our Paint It Forward campaign called Covering the World, One Quilt at a Time. This campaign is a collaboration between AccuQuilt and Moda Fabrics with Baby Lock as our sponsor. Together, one person from our teams is donating a quilt each week of 2022 to charity of their choice. You and I are the last two of the we year. We are the last two of the year. So be sure to visit our website on details how you can participate in covering the world one quilt at a time by going to learn.accuquilt.com slash quilt the world 2022. You can also follow hashtag quilt the world 2022 on social media to see fellow quilters donations during the year. They were just amazing. They really were. All right, now the patterns in the trunk show coming up are wonderful, but I think it's time to see our experts final project reveal. Oh, good idea. Jeannie, what have you come up with using the go deer head die? So this is my challenge piece. I use the eight inch cube to make the pole 
that runs down the middle here. And then I use the deer heads to have four deer heads on it. And they have a gnome hat. And I use the nose to be the end of the Senna hat and their beard to be under the reindeer there. And then I use the reindeer dye to go dashing around my quilt. And I found that if I used one of the shapes from the stem and leaf dye, I could make these deer tracks. And I embroidered those and they're chasing the reindeer around my quilt. And I've named this Reindeer Dancing Round the Pole. I think it's the North Pole, don't I you? I think it is the North Pole, and who knew you could make deer hoofs? That is so clever. Deer tracks. So clever, and it was absolutely and adorable. And the cube, it's just so cute. So cute. All right, last but not least, Shannon, what have you made using the Go Deer Head dye? Hello, quilters. I'd like to introduce you to Deer Head Buffalo Plaid placemats. Now you're gonna notice that these are smaller than traditional placemats, and I did that intentionally because I wanted them to size to fit better on the tables of a travel trailer or a recreational vehicle. These are smaller so that they fit on that small space, unlike the larger ones that you had to overlap. I will add in my, my pattern the ability to create a larger version, but in this case, it was the two and a half inch strip die, and then I pieced it with the colors to create that buffalo plaid. Now, Buffalo Plaid has been around since 1880, which I think is very exciting. And it kind of takes care of that plaid thing I was looking for earlier in inspiration. So then I took the deer heads and cut those out and stitched around them, flipped everything around and did a little eighth inch stitch around the sides. And I'm going to call that done. And I hope you appreciate the small footprint that I put together so that they will be usable for those folks who are out camping and exploring and hunting. Okay. So fun that so they're small. So fun, yes. Okay, so let's talk about some of the dies that we could use. So for Jeannie's, she used the eight inch cube. Right. And slaying reindeer, snow and slaying snowflakes. snowflakes. And then how did no, she No, that was the standalone go reindeer. There we go. Because that's the one with the curly antlers. There you go. And then the deer tracks were made with- Stems and leaves. Stems and so leaves. it was one of the leaves off the stems and leaves. I think that's great. And then I was thinking about placements. You could totally use the symbols die and do hashtag herding hellers. Oh, you could. Well, and she used a strip die, I bet, to make yes. that gingham or plaid background. Right. And I love doing that because I like the big plaids, but you can't always find the fabric that you like. So And so cute that they're just smaller. Right. Perfect. Right. All right, so we don't know which expert project was your favorite. They were both great. Was it Jeannie's Go Reindeer Dancing Around the Pole wall hanging or Shannon's Go Deerhead Buffalo Plaid placemats? It's a hard decision it and it's all up to you. Now, if you're watching via registration link or on YouTube, you can click on the vote box below or to the right of the chat box. And if you're watching by Facebook, vote for the box that displays over the video. We never watch, we don't know. No. All right, let's show some more projects that quilters can make with their trencha. The lovely Madison is here today to help us with it. All right, you ready? All right, so I love that idea. I love our trunk show. We have got such great oh, samples here. Carolina this is so Moore. fun. This is the Go Deer Cabin Throw Quilt by Carolina Moore of alwaysexpectmore.com. So this is the reindeer from the Slay and Snowflakes dot. Yes, there we go. And she's used, she's got deer head fabric here, which is that. to die for. I love the color palette. This would be perfect to have if you have a cabin or just for all winter just, on your couch winter. to curl up with. Starling. And she used the strip dye between it, right? Yes, and the quilting. And here I am thinking that she hand quilted that. No. And Pam goes, no, that's a stitch on her machine. Carolina has a super cool machine that does the stitch that makes it look like it makes it look like it's hand stitched. And look at the fabric on the back. Now I have to go home and see if my machine does that because yeah. I'm loving it. Because on back, it looks like a regular stitch. Okay, yeah. I'm fascinated. I think it's darling. All right, next up, this is so fun. Here we go, we've got a variety pack here. <clears throat> All right. These are Go Classic Fur Trim Santa Stockings by Marianne Fontana of Fontana Originals. Now this one's got the Northwoods Medley on it. It does, and this one has um, the, the Slay and Snowflakes. Snowflakes. And this is obviously the deer head with the Northwoods Medley. And I think it's so fun because you could just use just a variety of different fabrics yes. and dyes to create all sorts of really fun stockings. 
They are so there's a die for this. There is. Oh, I All love right, those. So come back here to the wall. Okay. This is also... Oh, no, we have a tree skirt. Oh, sorry. Wait, hold, please. And this is a genius tree skirt. This is like a no-sew project. This is a total no-sew project. So this is all... All the things glue and felt and all that's good. So sticky back felt. Sticky back felt. We've got um, leather, faux leather or full leather here that's cut out the deer head. We've got holly leaves from the holiday medley. Right. We've and got that little snowflake. Again, that's the, the mitten. mitten. And then the uh, the big snowflakes. The big snowflakes. And then look at the the uh, piping is the candy cane stripe piping. Yeah. So this is a pre-made cord. And it's hot glued and it's got a a scallop border around yep. it and and no bias binding needed because yeah. this is all glued this is fabulous this is a great idea all right now you can go show now us the I one behind the us. this is also by uh, mary m fantana this is the go deer nation wall hanging this is super simple totally make it in a weekend she just took and all of the deer head have the um, blanket stitch around it and then she just did a little stitch in the ditch. Turn those squares on point. Ta-da. And she's used Island Batik fabrics. And I don't know that Island Batik, I mean, you don't think about this in bright colors and the batiks, but it totally works. It's fabulous. Okay. All right, so the next one up is the Go Deer Hunt Throw Quilt. And this one is by Laura Strickland of Orange Blossom okay. Quilts. It's going to take me a minute. This start is at a the big top. one. So we're going to start up here. Here, wait. I can do this better. Okay. So there we're we go. going to start. So we've got obviously our deer head up in the corner. Right. Arkansas Traveler Arkansas block Traveler. on board. Down below, we've got Hunter's Star. Again, another block on board. And then hold on. Hold on. Wait, there's more. Wait, there's more. And then see, we've got our deer in the center. The sashing really sets it off, and then we've got deer in each corner. This and it is, has fabric that looks like wood. This is so striking. Okay, and here's the back. Here's the back, because it was the deer hunt. So it it's got the camo and on the back. She has striped binding. It there looks you like go. wood, but it's striped binding. There you go. All right, this is next is such a treat. It is. This is the oh, Go Oh Deer Barbecue Set by Mitzi Red of Red <laughs> Homestead. Modeled by our very own producer Joe. Joe, producer Joe, and if you see on our website, <laughs> it's Joe who models it there as well. Towels, so look, towels and apron, oven mitts, the apron accentuated look with leather. Good job, Mr. Joe. Manly, it's fabulous. Lovely, good right. for gifts, good for any barbecue. There you go. Thanks, Joe. Special guest today. Yes. All right, and next we have Go Into the Woods Throw Quilt by Marianne Fontana. This we have to get it the right I, side up. This is the one I want to take home and sleep in. I know, this one's so cuddly. So this is all those fun plaids put together with our Northwoods medley and our Go Deer Head dye. And it's just, this is just screams winter by the fireplace. And on the back she had an extra. Yeah, so she pieced her backing together and she went ahead and put a deer head. You know what? Use those scraps. You get yeah. creative with your backing. Make it something fun, right? Whoever the person was that said, you don't have to have a solid backing. You can make it scrappy. Bless you. Bless you. All right, here we go. We've got the on go on target wall hanging by Terry Vandenbosch of Lizard Creek Hi, Quilting. Hi, Terry. Hello, this Terry. So she's used Northcott fabrics here. And again, she's turned that block on point. She's used some great sashing. And I just think the colorway is so fun. It is. The just orange so and the, the blue. Yep. Great fall combo. And she did really, really simple quilting on it. And the back is just a solid back. Yep. I really think, fun. Darling. Okay, it's pillow time. So here we have the Oh Dear Pillow oh dear. by Gina Chempasa of Gem Hill Quilts with Timeless Treasures. And I love that she's taken it and made it girly with floral Flor fabric. Okay, if I had to choose, if I'd not known who made this and I saw it, I for sure would say, oh, Gina Chempasa that was made Gina. that. Yeah. It's just so bright and colorful and beautiful. And just a great way to use florals. It really is. And it's a pillow cover so you could 
You know, I'm totally into that right now, by yeah. the way, because that is the easiest way to change yes. up your home decor ever. Yes, and a bigger pillow. Um, and a bigger pillow. So this is like your big curl up nap yes. pillow. This is the Go Hideaway Haven pillow by Terry Vandenbosch. And she's used Island Batiks here. Yes, and this was the project we made um, after the launch on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So don't forget, our all of our videos live in our Facebook and our YouTube channels. Right. So if you can't watch a show, you can watch it later. Yes. You know, register those so you have the chance to win prices. Right. Okay. All right. Now, all of the patterns we've shown you are available as free downloads on AccuQuilt's website. We'll just bump into each other here. So be sure to get your patterns head, downloaded. I'm thinking about stuff to me. <laughs> I'm talking. Every show. <laughs> all right. And don't forget you can customize these patterns further by taking a photo of your fabric and entering them into our free Go Quilt tool to see what your project will look like before you make the first cut. Numerous fabric collections from our sponsors are available on Go Quilt as well as Solid Colors. It's a free tool on our AccuQuilt website. That's right. Plus, we've got thousands of quilt patterns for you to envision your next projects as if we hadn't come up with enough In already. our heads. So here's a deeper look at how to help you get started. Alyssa and Anna made the they same did. ones. Different times, made the Hello. same ones. It's fabulous. Um, good job to Justin for our great Go Quilt tool. And it's working on our website. We They upgraded it and updated yes. it. Yes. So thanks to Jason for doing that. Yes. Joe Quilt, oh, Joe, Joe Quilt, Go Quilt is such an amazing <laughs> tool. I use it for my own projects, including the ones that I make for our AQ Live show. Yes. Now you can join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for more inspiration project tutorials. Tomorrow is so much fun. I took a vacation photo. Right. And I used the color palette from that oh. to create a fun quilt with my all-time favorite dye at AccuQuilt. Be sure to register for the show on our events page to be entered to win an exciting door prize. It's tons of fun. Hope to see you there. Because we get that question about colorway, right? right? And right. color palette. We're going to show you how to do it. This is a great way to be inspired. Take a picture that you love. Yeah. It's really fun. All right. It's time to give away our final prize of the day. Let's say thank you one more time to our quilters. All right. Let's do it. The second lucky winner of a Go Deer Head die is, drum roll please, Lisa S. from here on South Dakota. Congratulations. Congratulations. Lisa. All right, quilters, the time has come. Now we ask which expert's project is your favorite, and it is time to announce the winner. All right. I think it's going to be a tough decision. I do too. All right. Is it Jeannie with her go reindeer dance around the pool while hanging? Or is it Shannon with those go reindeer, go deer head buffalo plaid placemats? You can tell I have Christmas on I my mind. The team has counted all your votes and our viewers' favorite expert project is, drum roll please. Model Joe will tell us the answer. It is Jeannie. Yes. Yes. around the pole. Congratulations, Jeannie. I think I think the reindeer ears were the the, 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 the antlers, the antlers. Okay, yeah. but I am totally making placemats because I thought that was a great idea to it make them was. a little smaller, like for Oakley. You know, she didn't for need the a big, kids, yeah, right? For the kids and put their names on it so there's no fighting. Yes. <laughs> Well, that's a nice thought. There's a thought. Quilters, be sure to join us again this Friday. What? Yes, we're back here again. Oh, that's true. We're having so much fun. August 26th, 12 noon Central Time, we're having a trunk show called Let the Quilting Adventures Begin. 
and be sure and check our calendar, our events calendar, because yes. we have lots of special shows coming up. That's right. Eric and I will be sharing plenty of fun projects that you can create with your whole entire family. Or to commemorate things that you've done with your family. Right. And we have some great pictures from our AccuQuilt That's right. family, right? That's right. We will show you footage, pictures of AccuQuilt family trips from over the summer. Don't miss out on this fam family friendly show. All right, it's going to be hard to wait to join in that excitement, but today we do have something exciting we can share. Those go deer head dye bundles. That's true. These great deals are uh, definitely need to be shared. To get your order in during the show, open up a new tab in your browser, type in accuquilt.com slash party to see the bundles and place your order. Now that first bundle is the Go Deer Head with Matt bundle. This bundle's perfect for quilters just itching to get their hands on this fun applique dye. And the Go Deer Head Medley Bundle is great for making themed projects, setting those blocks on point. Mm -hmm. We saw so many projects with them on point. Mm -hmm. Using that Go Square, eight and a half inch square. Um, quilter's gonna ask, will it fit in the Go, that eight and a half inch square? It will fit it in the will. go. It will. All the bundles will fit in the go in the go big. Yes. Plus, we've got the Go Oh Dear project bundle. This is a quilter's go-to for starting early on holiday projects and gifts, like those oven mitts you saw Joe modeling Joe did for a great us. Job. And those great stockings. All of these bundles come with free downloadable embroidery designs as well. And every order that you place today only will receive those double reward points. Remember that you can use towards future AccuQuilt purchases. And don't forget that Go Me Fabric Cutter Starter Set is on sale. It includes two dies, a mat, a pattern book. 70% uh, of our Go dies will fit through that Go Me. That's right, this cutter is our most lightweight and portable one, so you can easily travel with it while still being able to cut a wide variety of Go dies, like oh, the Go Deer Head die. And remember, we have financing options. For more details, visit acuquilt.com slash financing. All right, well, it is time for you and I to go get ready for our show on Friday. Yes. Because we're yes. excited about that. We hope our viewers have more inspiration on how to use their project now that the Go Deer Head Die is part of our permanent collection. Because it sold out the first it time It did around. sell out. Thank you so much for joining us today. Now, if you've been waiting for our show to end before you buy, well, now is the time, and here is the link. Get everything you need while it's still available. And remember, at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt more. See you on Friday. Bye-bye.